What's up guys, we're back with a brand new video. In today's video, we'll be going over the Jonathan Segler trade to Geelong, which is a pretty underrated pickup, I have to say so far, that people aren't really recognizing how big this actually is for Geelong. So we'll be going all over that and stuff all to do with the trade and what Hawthorne actually will get out of this trade. So before we do get into it, make sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe because we are trying to hit 1,000 subscribers before the end of the year. So make sure to go down below and subscribe for a lot of AFL content. So without further ado, let's get into it. So in this deal, Geelong did trade a future third round pick, which was actually Brisbane's third round pick, to Hawthorne for Jonathan Segler and a future fourth round pick. So pretty much, you know, uh, you know, the Cats go back a few draft selections, but they do get Jonathan Segler as a Ruckman, which is absolutely huge for Geelong. They haven't really had a Ruckman uh, you know, for the past few years after Zach Smith uh, departed the club, because as much as Reece Stanley is pretty good around the ground, he's not a ruckman at all. Like, he gets absolutely destroyed in the hitouts whenever they play, and just goes missing a lot in games. Like, in that prelim final, he got absolutely bodied by Grundy, I mean, Grundy by Gorn and Luke Jackson, which is, you know, Reece Stanley was drafted as a key forward, and, you know, they try to transition him into a full-time ruckman, and, you know, even though he played in some big games, it's almost like he's the only option. Uh, you know, they couldn't really get Darcy Fort on the park enough. He did, Darcy, part, Darcy Fort didn't actually do enough, you know, around the ground. So they would rather have a Reece Stanley who's a bit more, you know, versatile around the ground. But Jonathan Segler is coming off the, the best two years of his career. He had a career best 2020 and then followed it up with, you know, a great 2021 campaign where... He actually, you know, did average, you know, 15 hit outs or 15 touches a game, which is actually elite for Ruckman. You know, he wins, you know, he's like all his stats are about above average. You know, he's, he's above average Ruckman, definitely. You know, he had the best statistical season of his career. And, you know, now he's joining a, you know, a team that, you know, he's going to be competing for a flag as much as some people don't want to admit it. You know, with this, you know, that he actually can win hit outs, unlike Stanley. He can give, you know, Dangerfield, Selwood, Cam Guthrie, you know, that their first use, so they wouldn't have to run around as much and all that stuff, because literally they're on the back foot pretty much every game. They have to be on their toes. You know, they have to be playing defensive side. They have to run even more because they've always, you know, don't know where the ball's going to go. So this will actually help out their, their older Geelong midfield. And all the criticism about the Geelong midfield like, they're in a situation where they have to go all in now. You're like, there's no point for them to just say, you know what, you know, we'll delist all our older players that are above 30 and go, you know, into the draft. Like, there's no point of that. They have, they, you know, they have some real stars still on their roster that, you know, if they got rid of them, then they just threw away another chance at possibly going for a premiership. Like, they're not going to go and rebuild when they have Dangerfield, Hawkins, Salwood, they're all winners at the football club. They're not going to throw that away just so they can go and get an 18-year-old that and hopefully he comes into a star. Like, you know, after all them legends retire, then they'll actually probably go and actually have to rebuild. But right now, getting a 30-year-old Ruckman in to help him go for a premiership push is not a bad idea at all. And I actually really like what they're doing with their list right now. You know, maybe in five years, you know, they will be, won't win a game for a whole year or something like that. But... You know, right now, you have to say, they're all in. They want to go for this premiership push. They don't care how many 30 year olds they have. And hopefully, that actually works out for them. Because if not, then it actually is a waste. So, drop in the comments what you think about this. I actually love the addition of Jordan Siegler. He brings something that they don't have into, you know, their you know their actual uh, makeup of their midfield. You know, a, a real good hit-out Ruckman. You know, he's, he's, you know, probably one of the most underrated Ruckman in the comp over the past few years. He's been really good for the, you know, he had his best career years in 2020 and 21, even though he is a little bit injury prone, which could see him, you know, be, you know, a bit of a liability at times if, you know, they actually have to do, have to bring in Stanley. But if you haven't noticed, I reckon this bloke should be starting in the Ruck in round one over Stanley. You know, this is a guy that they really need as a Ruckman, not someone that, you know, will get dominated in the Ruck. And, you know, he's decent around the ground. They would rather have this guy. And, you know, he's, he's a pretty good, you know, uh, clearance with, like, Ruckman. You know, averages about three a game, which is pretty good for a Ruckman. Uh, so, yeah, I really like this addition. Drop in the comments what you think about it. And thanks for watching.